Darwin argued that species change over time and, as a result, become adapted to their environments. For example, the blue feet of this booby are an adaptation. Females are attracted to males with bright blue feet, so the males with this adaptation are more likely to reproduce and pass this trait on to their offspring. Likewise, if an adaptation gives an organism a competitive advantage over others of its kind, such as strong legs for swimming and diving here on Galapagos, that organism is more likely to survive and pass the trait on to the next generation. Over time, these beneficial adaptations can build up in isolated populations like those of the Galapagos and may give rise to a new species. Galapagos marine iguana provides compelling evidence for Darwin's ideas. It's believed that the ancestors of marine iguanas were originally land iguanas that may have come to the islands on floating logs. But food on these volcanic islands was scarce. During the competition for food, some iguanas found success by venturing into the waters. The land iguanas with slightly better tails for swimming or shorter snouts for eating off of rocks had an advantage over iguanas without these traits. Darwin argued that over millions of years, the iguanas with physical traits that made them good divers had a better chance of surviving and therefore of producing more offspring. Over the generations, a greater percentage of iguanas inherited these beneficial traits. Eventually, the marine iguanas evolved into a separate species from the land iguanas. Darwin called this process natural selection. Organisms with beneficial adaptations were effectively selected by nature to have a better chance of either surviving in their current habitat or occupying a new habitat. Darwin found creatures with unique adaptations all across the Galapagos, and modern researchers continue to find them. The swallow-tailed gull's big red eyes give them a competitive advantage over other gulls in finding food. The swallow-tailed gull is unusual among gulls in that it has a very much enlarged eye, which is a beautiful adaptation for feeding nocturnally. The swallow-tailed gull feeds mainly on bioluminescent type organisms that light up the surface of the sea at night. So these gulls have evolved to take advantage of a food source that no other gulls can. These adaptations help to ensure their survival. There is a different species of finch on each Galapagos island. Isolated on each island, each has its own unique behaviors and beak size and shape. Some eat like woodpeckers, some eat cactuses, and others use tools but they each find food in their own way and pass their successful adaptation on to the next generation. Beneficial adaptations can also help species live side by side and still avoid competition. For instance, hawkfish with long snouts can coexist in the same waters as the short-nosed variety because one finds food in crevices while the other finds it on top of rocks and coral.